Hello, welcome to Pack Testing Guru. And this is just a very short video to find, um, to talk about um, some of the issues you might find when pack testing 110 volt equipment. As you can probably understand, this equipment um, goes through a lot um, of possible uh, hazards during the day, uh, a lot of wear and tear, um, and it might flag up some potential dangers. Now, the one we found here, on, upon doing the visual check, it's got a damaged flange uh, socket. The uh, protective cap, uh, which gives it its, its IP rating, um, has come off. So that would allow dust or liquid to get inside of that socket. Um, luckily, that socket can easily be, be repaired um, just by getting a replacement flange socket. Popping the top off the transformer, and it just screws out, rescrewing the terminals, and then you can perform the test. The same here with this extension lead, we've found that the um, uh, cap has completely snapped off the top. Um, this is what it should be like, spring loaded, um, nice tight fit in there to stop any ingress of water and dirt. So again, this one can just be unscrewed um, from there. Um, terminals can be released, new flange socket fitted and then retested to make sure that it's a pass. Also one thing to check on these is you often get cable damage on the mains cable going into the transformer and then on the plug as well you often get damage as the cable goes into the molded plug and the rubber starts to perish um, where it's had um, either water or it's been stepped on or caught under a a wheel or been trodden on on a on a building site so that is how to do a um, repair and inspection on a 110 volt transformer